What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so we did it. We got out of a uh, Termin Term Termulus Cave. Yeah, that's what it's called. And now it is finally time for us to move on to the next adventure, and that is uh, right here, somewhere in the horizon. Well, somewhere. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? We're going to use a repel because I. Yeah, I. I'm pretty sure we're going to be finding some Pokemon right here. So here we are, guys, in Route 19, Grande Valle away. And uh, we got some Pokemon trainers ready to battle us right here. So I'm going to switch out Blade and go with, uh, you know what? Let's go with Moko right here because I haven't seen him in the last episode. Alrighty. Time for a Pokemon battle. Is what me from 10 seconds ago said. Yeah, some people just don't make sense and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are, guys, taking on Hex Maniac Jose, and she is coming out with a Pumpkaboo. Well, your boy right here is coming out with Moko, aka Booger. Anywho, guys, funny thing, all right? Funny thing. I actually thought that this was, uh, what was it? Or the last episode was episode, uh, what was it called? Uh, 40. Unfortunately. I think there was like one recording where I it wasn't Pokemon based or anything like that and yeah. So, yeah, here we go. We got ourselves episode 40 right here. And well, I kind of knew, well, I kind of had a feeling that like I was missing something right there. So, yeah, my bad guys. Your boy kind of messes up sometimes, but it is what it is. Now, here we are taking on another Pumpkaboo. Let's go right ahead and go with Star Fox. Finish this guy right here. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Star Fox, level 62. Kicking some butt, taking some names, ready to uh, destroy this person. And, well, here we have another Friska ability. And, oh, wow. Completely forgot that, you know, Psychic was used so many times. Not to worry. We defeated Punkaboo just like that. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so Jose has been defeated. And your boy is now going to be moving on to the next thing right here. So we are very, very close, guys, to finishing up. Well, actually, you know, we, we're very close to finishing up our walkthrough right here. And look at this. We got ourselves a netball. We got through the main the main stuff, like uh, defeat, team flare, stop him from everything, uh, capture the legendary Pokemon, uh, Evil Tall. And I was supposed to go right there. Now that's left is win our eighth badge, win the Pokemon League, and then the... Yeah, the final story, the, the the final chapter that they after game stuff that they they actually put on. A little bit lazy, but you know what I mean. All right, so let's go down right here, and let's see. Okay, so we're gonna need a Pokemon that serves. So before we go anywhere around that area, let's go and see what's over here. We're hopping, we're hopping, we're hopping, and there is a little girl laughing, and she loves fairies. Everybody loves fairies. Fairy type Pokemon and all that stuff. So here we go. Taking on Fairy Tail Girl Laughlin or Lovelin or yeah, I don't even know. And uh, well, unfortunately for us, Moko is at a disadvantage right here with uh, this guy. So let's see what Thunderbolt can do. Okay. And that will paralyze this Pokemon right here. So that, I guess it worked for us. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? What the heck? Switched items with the target, and, uh, well, the lucky egg has been obtained. So, let's go straight for a power whip attack right here. And look at that. Say goodbye to Mr. Mime. Or Mrs. Mime, or whatever. Okay, so we're going to nearly grow a level right there. Blade grows to level 59, and Azumarill is coming out. So, let's continue on right here. We do have... We do have a, an electric type attack right here, so this is going to work, especially a, a grass type move. So here we go Thunderbolt for the win. And yes, this guy tanks it. So here comes in Aqua Ring. So he's going to try and heal himself up while battling. And well, he healed himself a little bit. So let's go straight for another Power Whip. And look at that. Okay. So there goes Azumarill. And Moko grows a level 57. And, well, Jordan the Goat grows to level 61. And Aromatize is going to be coming out. So let's go right ahead and go not with Evil Bacon. Not with Nacho. 
You know what? Let's go with Jordan the Goat. Jordan the Goat. For you, for those who are new, why do I call him the Goat? Well, Michael Jordan's the Goat. Ain't no, a, a, ain't no debate about that. So there we go. Take it on Aromatize, and well, let's go straight for an earthquake attack right here. And holy buckets! That's right there. He's gonna go with this. That's what happens when you have uh, two, I guess, two programs uh, working at the same time. It just lags on the other, so my bad, guys. Anywho, we're going to continue on right here with a little battle against Roma Aromatize. And, well, there you go. We settled the score with it. And Lovelin has been defeated. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so a um, few things I just realized. Yes, uh, that is actually the way to get out of here, which we don't need to do right now because, well, you know, we, we still got some stuff to take care of. Uh, there are items here that you can actually find, like right here, you'll find yourself an HP up. Usually a, a good vitamin to have for any Pokemon with low HP or something like that. And uh, there should be something right here, I don't even know. Okay, so we're going to go to the bottom floor. And you know what, let's go on skates and put on another repel because, yes, we do not want to get attacked by nobody. And, well, we're going to find ourselves an, an antidote, which will help us out in the long run right here. And, well, let's see. Ah! Okay, time to do it for Halucha. That's right. Care for a sky battle, sky trainer? Yes. High flying in the sky can show you a whole new world. Well, guess what? This is for Halucha. Time to feel the wrath of Evil Bacon. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here we go. Evil Bacon is the only Pokemon I have as a flying Pokemon, an actual flying Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and use Oblivion Wing. All right, you can go even higher into the stratosphere, and yes, let's drain everything it got. And yes, we are now, I guess, healed. And well, this Noctowl right here is, uh, yeah, this Noctowl right here is trying to put us asleep. So let's go right ahead with the disable, and let's prevent that from happening. Okay, and let's go straight for a Dark Pulse attack. Yeah, buddy, that's right. How does it feel to fail, Noctowl? Evil Bacon. Evil, evil bacon. Oh, crap baskets. So, we got ourselves against, uh, got, got ourselves uh, going up against an Aerodactyl. Now, this Pokemon right here is no joke because it is both a rock and flying type Pokemon. And, well, we're going to be going with that. Drain it of his HP. Now, there is one little thing going on right here. So, let's go with a Disable. And here comes a Stone Edge attack. That is going to hurt us, but we're going to use a Disable right here in order to prevent that. So, let's go. Snarl attack. And, oh, come on! Are you serious? Okay, here we go. Snarl attack. Okay, so that right there will lower its special attack. We have a feeling that we might lose this one, so we're going to have to go with... Oh, come on. You mean to tell me I don't have a full restore? Good gravy. Draven, you are the worst. Okay, so here we go. Hyper Potion. Give it to Evil Bacon. All right. Aerodactyl is a very, very fast Pokemon. And here comes a Thunder Fang. And that will hit us pretty hard. All right. Dark Pulse Attack. How many fangs do you have? Jesus. Okay. And here we go. Dark Pulse for the win, say goodbye to Aerodactyl. Yeah. That one was for Halucha. Yes, all you Sky Battlers being uh, biased towards Halucha. Just because it's a fighting type Pokemon, you guys suck. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on before I start, start going on a tangent or something like that. Okay, so if we go right here, we're going to be going into like this marshy area. So make sure to have a Pokemon that knows how to surf. And... Well, look at that. We're surfing and surfing and surfing. You're going to be finding some Pokemon Rangers around here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch out Pokemon. Let's go with Jordan the Goat and Evil Bacon right here. And uh, let's finish these people off. We are Pokemon Rangers. We bring out the power in our Pokemon. We are Pokemon Rangers. We draw out the power in our Pokemon. Okay, so what's the difference, all right? I don't get it. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Rangers Ivy and Auric, and well, they are going to be coming out with uh, these tanky cows, uh, these tanky, uh, what was it called, uh, heifers, heifers, 
And, well, we're getting intimidated. And here comes a Dark Aura. This, which will, I guess, will power up any kind of Dark type moves. So, let's go with an Earthquake attack. Hit everybody except Evil Bacon. And then Oblivion Wing. Let's go ahead and take away Tauros. So, here comes a Thrash attack. And, oh my god. Alright, so we're going to be feeling it. Hands rated E for everyone. And... Yeah, buddy. All right. So we're draining some of Tauros' uh, HP right there. Okay. And here comes a Gyro Ball. This one... Seriously? Why go for Evil Bacon? Why? Is it because he's Bacon? I don't know. And Tauros survives. Good gravy. Okay. Let's go with that. And let's go with an Oblivion Wing onto Miltank right here. So here comes another Thrash attack. Okay. You guys are being... You guys are being unfair to Evil Bacon. So here we go. Evil Bacon. Oblivion Wing. Oh, uh, yes. That's right. We're going to be healing up just a little bit more. Okay, so here comes a Gyro Ball. And everybody hates Evil Bacon. Seriously? Okay. And, well, let's go with an Earthquake. Finish these guys off. And there you go. Miltank has, or not Miltank, but Taros has been defeated. And we get some more points right here. And, well, let's go right ahead. Use a Leaf Blade onto Miltank and then a Snarl onto good old Miltank right here. You know, I could have used a Snarl on both these guy dang Pokemon. I just realized that. Okay, so there you go. And Evil Bacon grows a level fake at 55. There we go. And it wants to use Phantom Force? Holy crud. Okay, let me see what this... Uh, okay, so it's a Ghost-type move. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Snarl. Uh, okay, so... Jeebus, criminy. Dark Pulse. This one is special. You know what? Let's go with Snarl. Let's take away Snarl. Let's be let's be a little bit uh, strategic with this guy. So, <sighs> Evil Bacon has learned Phantom Force. Okay. All righty. There you go. All righty. So... Let us continue on right here. Uh, let's see. I really do hate the marshy areas. Mainly because of this. It just slows people down. I think you guys already heard my, uh, my complete tangent on the Sinnoh region and, you know, their take of, uh, the, the Great Marsh and all that stuff. Everything's slow. Don't get me wrong, guys. I, I do love Pokemon Platinum. It is a very, very good game. One of the most complete games out there. Um, but I do not like the region. I don't know why, but the region itself just, like, it bugged me. In including the, the speed of the games. It just, uh, yeah, it irritated me just like many others. So, you, 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 yeah, I'm kind of bipartisan with the whole Pokemon, pro uh, like, uh, Diamond, Pearl, and uh, Platinum series. I'm just, you know, I'm just a spectator. If you guys don't, don't remember, um, I took... How many years off from playing from playing any any kind of Pokemon games? Uh, the last Pokemon game that I actually played was like what? Pokemon Sapphire before I even got my hands on a Pokemon Platinum or Pokemon Emerald game. And it wasn't until like college. Yeah, it wasn't until like my second or third year at college. I, I restarted playing Pokemon games and I decided, you know what? I'm going to make a Pokemon uh, walkthrough uh, channel. And look at this. It's a Pokemon Ranger's duty to ensure that Pokemon can live the way uh, tomorrow is that they do tomorrow. Okay, okay. All right. All righty. Let's go. Time to get it. All right. So here we go. Taking on Clementine. It's a nice name. And she is coming out with a, lo a Loma Mola Lola. I, d I know that didn't sound right, but it just I just wanted to say it like that. Okay. So let's go with a Shadow Sneak. And let's get our stance change. Now, I did a little more research on stance change, and that is that, you know, okay, when the stance changes, the stats change, and well, yeah, now we have to learn King's, uh, what was it, Knight's or King's whatever, uh, what was it, shield or something, Knight's shield, just to make this guy's, uh, make this guy a little stronger, and oh my god, he's coming out with a brine. Okay, let's see, Sacred Sword, come on! And man, we are throwing everything in the kitchen sink with this Pokemon. Oh, come on, Blade! All right, Night Slash for the win. Okay, there you go. 
and that is how you do it. Okay, alrighty, and Star Fox grows to level 63, and Clementine has been defeated. So yeah, guys, I took a, a nice, nice break off uh, of Pokemon games. Um, yeah, and, and uh, let me see. For those who are new, this is how it all happened. I was in college, and I decided that, you know what, YouTube was a thing. Let me check out some Pokemon walkthrough videos, and the first person I saw was Light Dark Neutral. Uh, he was the biggest uh, YouTuber or PokeTuber at the time. I don't even know if he's still doing any Pokemon videos right now. Uh, I, I know that I got, I've gotten into contact with him uh, a while back after he made his return, but I don't know if he's made uh, any other videos since then. Uh, yeah, it was through him that I got inspired to do Pokemon videos and all that stuff. And, uh, well, he was, uh, well, let's see, 13, almost 14 years later, good gravy. 13, 14 years, here we are. Look at me, playing a grown man playing Pokemon games. I have no shame, no shame whatsoever, guys. And well, there you go, Star Fox wins, Nacho grows into the level 60 clubs, and he wants to learn the Swords Dance Technique. We're going to take away Flying Press because we already got ourselves a pretty strong fighting type move. And there we go, something to boost up that attack, and here comes a Grump Pig. So, let's go straight for Evil Bacon. I want Evil Bacon to keep on winning some matches for us right here. So, here we go, Evil Bacon, how's it going? And, well, Dark Ore is going to help us out right here. Let's go straight for... You know what? Let's try that Phantom Force right here. So here we go, Phantom Force. If you guys remember, I think Giratina uses this move too. And... Oh, yes, Phantom Force. It's kind of like a Scorpion's like, get over here! But he, like, disappears. His teleportation thing. Okay, so that's another victory for us right there, and uh, who's next? There might be a few items here that we can grab. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, make sure to have a Pokemon with strength, so just go ahead and press that. Jordan the Goat is now made it possible for us to move things around, and... Uh-oh. Okay, so how do we move this? Ah, okay, I think I know. There you go, and let's see, going up top, and pressing it right here, and we're going to grab ourselves our first item, and that is a Toxic Plate. Thankfully, we don't have to read the inscriptions on it, and uh, well, let's see, let's go right ahead and go down here, and as you guys can see, there are more items around, so let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a PP up. This one will raise our PPs. See, there's nothing right there. Um, always check the stones, guys, just to make sure that, you know, you don't have any items missing. And <coughs> before we get on to the next Pokemon Ranger, let's go right ahead and grab the item that's up here. And that is, bam, we got, we got ourselves the TM36 Sludge Bomb. This is a very powerful poison-type move, which... Many of you guys should probably teach your Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and take on uh, this Pokemon Ranger. Getting lay of the land right here. I protect nature in order to protect Pokemon. What about people, you ask? Never mind that, let's battle. Okay. So, here we go, taking on another Pokemon Ranger. His name is Shinobu. That's a pretty cool name, by the way. Shinobu wins. That, 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 that sounds like a Mortal Kombat name. I want that name now. Okay, so here we have a Zangoose. We're going to use our Flamethrower attack just to assert our authority against these Pokemon. Yes. And there you go. We got ourselves some more points. And Malko grows to level 58. Jordan level 62. And Beartick is coming up. So we're going to continue on right here with the same old you-know-what. We're going we're gonna to be using this Flamethrower attack. Love polar bears, but guess what? You have to burn. And there you go. Bear Tick has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, alright. And well, Shinobu, he's he's feeling a little a little down right now, but it is what it is. Okay. So let's move on to the next situation right here, and that is we're gonna be going 
Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be using another, another repel and going the long way. And we have a major battle coming up. Uh, before anything happens, let's go ahead and use a few hyper potions right here. There we go, evil bacon and blade. Alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and see who wants to battle us. Sensei! Ah, who is it? Well, hello there. Hey, do you know what's about to happen? Uh, of course. That's right, we're going to battle. We are Pokemon trainers after all. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on our rival, Shauna. And she will be coming out with Eldale Caddy. All right, Del Caddy, I don't like you, you don't like me, but guess what? We got to do this dance right here. So here we go, take it on Del Caddy, and we're gonna be going with a flamethrower attack because I completely forgot Del Caddy was a, a dark type. Now it does look like an evolution. It it really does. How many of you guys think that is? Comment down below. And well, Blade grows to the level 60 club, and here comes a Gudra. Well, she's got a Gudra. I got a Gudra. Let's see whose Gudra is the Gudra. All righty. Let's go. Moko. Let's do this. And here comes Gudra. All righty. Let's see whose authority she will respect. Let's go. Dragon Pulse attack right here. And just like that, Gudra defeated. Not mine. All righty. Okay. And there's more points for us right there. And she's going to be coming out with a chestnut. Let's go with Nacho Libre right here. I haven't seen him in a while. Kind of want to. All right, so here we go. Nacho, how's it going? It's been a while. And here comes Chestnut. So let's go right ahead and use a fly attack right here. We're flying. This is eight times damage, I think. So let's go with the ultimate body. Oh, it avoided it. Good God. This is annoying. Okay, let's try this again. Fly attack. Nacho, you better not miss. How in the heck did we miss? And here we go. Fly attack for the win. Say goodbye to Chestnut. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And there it is. Trainer Shauna. Surprise this always. It's like battles with friends are really, really exciting. It doesn't look like that to you. Yeah, you have the look on like, what the hell? Okay, so that reminded me of our battle at Aquacord Town. That was the first time uh, for the both of us to do battle with our Pokemon. Hello, Sensei. Hi, Shauna. And here we have the rest of the Kalos Rangers or whatever, Power Rangers. What are you up to? Nothing big. How about you guys? Why, the same thing as you, Shauna. We heard about Sensei from the Professor, and we came running as fast as we could. Sensei! Can we have a Pokemon battle? Uh, yeah, sorry, just to throw you at uh, throw that at you. Okay, so time to assert my authority on every single one of these guys. We are taking on the Yellow Ranger himself, Tierno, and he's going to be coming out with a Talonflame. Okay, this Pokemon's looking pretty nice. All right, Talonflame, you don't like me, and I don't like you. So here we go, a Psychic Attack. Time to feel it. Yeah, buddy, Talonflame defeated. Okay, and we nearly grow to level 64 right here. So here comes a Crawdont. Let's go right ahead with Jordan the Goat. All right, Jordan the Goat ready to kick some butt, take some names, make this Pokemon, uh, you know, his little pokey, you know what? So here is Crawdont, and well, let's go right ahead and use a Leaf Blade attack. Oh, yes, I don't care about your defense, man. There it is, defensively. You will fall to a grass type move. Yes, Jordan the Goat doing things. Star Fox finally grows to level 64, and Rose Raid is going to be coming out. So let's go right ahead and use Evil Bacon. Surprise the crud out of everybody. Yes, I have myself a legendary Pokemon. What do you guys have? Probably nothing. So here comes Rose Raid. This Pokemon is looking pretty nice, and Evil Bacon's uh, Dark Aura is giving him life. So let's go with a, an a, Oblivion Wing. And there you go. Draining it of its life. Yeah, is it cheating using this Pokemon? I don't think so. It's the same as every single other Pokemon out there. And there we go. Moko grows to level 59. Nacho to level 61. 
and Tierno has been defeated. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, alright. So, uh, how's it going there, guys? Alright, who wants to smoke? Who wants it? What about you, homeboy? Wow, Tierney asking someone to battle? What's up with that? Geosense Town made me think. If Sensei hadn't been there, I wouldn't be dancing now. That's for sure. That made me want to get to know Sensei better, and I thought a battle would be the best way to do that. It's kind of selfish of me, I guess, but it's also the uh, it's also a way of thanking him. Tierno, it's great when Pokemon trainers like us can understand the hearts and minds of others, uh, other trainers and their Pokemon through battle. But before we do anything else, we should heal your Pokemon. Hey, what about me, homeboy? Now it's your turn, Sensei. I think I will follow the crowd and be your opponent as well. But this time, it won't be about the Pokedex. It will be a Pokemon battle. Okay, so here we go. Victim number three is about to take a you-know-what whooping. And, well, here it is, Trevor, the Green Ranger. And, wow, he's trying his hardest to throw that Pokeball. Holy buckets. Okay, let's go. Star Fox, let's pick on this Pokemon right here. All right, let's go with a Flamethrower attack for the win. And... Oh, wow. That nearly defeated this Pokemon, and crap. Yeah, we are paralyzed. This is exactly why I don't like you right now. Okay, so let's go Psychic Attack. And here comes a Thunderbolt. Okay. All right. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood, but you just did. And Raichu has been defeated. Say goodbye to you. All righty. Okay. So, let's go with an Aerodactyl. Okay, I got the Pokemon for this guy. So, let's see. It's a... Uh, oh, yeah. Let's go with Moko. All right. Let's go, Moko. Try to do it, but to do it. And here comes Aerodactyl. And let's go with a Muddy Water right here. And that Super Sonic was going to hit us. But here comes Muddy Water. And Aerodactyl nearly gets defeated right there. So one more time. And, man, you got to love this kid and his Confusion Attack. Or Super Sonic. Come on, Moko. There we go. Muddy Water. For the win. Say goodbye to Aerodactyl. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. And who's next? Florgus. Florgis or Florgis or Florgus. Whatever it likes to be called, it's going to feel the wrath of Evil Bacon right here on Dragon Ball Z. So here we go. Evil Bacon. How's it going? And, uh, well, Florgis. Florgis. It still, it, what, doesn't it become a grass type Pokemon at, at that point? Let's find out. And here comes an Oblivion Wing. Love this move. Nope, it's not a flying type Pokemon, or it's not a grass type. And here comes a Misty Terrain, which, of course, uh, Evil Bacon is uh, weak to. So, Dark Pulse Attack. Yeah, not so effective. Good gravy, okay. So here comes a, uh, what is this, Confide? And that will lower our special attack right there. Okay, so we got to switch out Pokemon because this is not working out. Let's go with uh, Nacho. I know it's a risk. It's a risk because it's a fighting type Pokemon and fairy type Pokemon are going to just mess them up. But just, just, just trust me right here. And oh, buckets. Yeah, that was my fault right there. Okay, so Nacho has every right to hate me right now. Okay, let's go, Jordan the Goat. All right, brute strength and everything. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Let's go strength attack right here. Let's rough this Pokemon up. And that right there will defeat Florgis or Florgis or however you like to call that Pokemon. And Jordan the Goat grows to level 63. And Evil Bacon, everybody else gets some points right there. Say goodbye to Trevor. And he's like, no more. That's right. You thought you were stronger than you thought you were, but you couldn't mess with me. Of course, you got this nice tune right here. There's still so much I don't know. Do I just not have what it takes? Wow, I don't think I've ever heard you worry about it being weak or strong before, Trevor. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. Is it because you went on a journey? Or maybe it's thanks to what you've learned from being with your Pokemon and with us, your friends. Speaking of which, where's Serena? She's off training with the Mega Evolution Guru. She said friends are friends even if they can't be together. 
Indeed. Well, there's something we must attend to. Be seeing you. Okay. I'm so glad we went on this journey. I made some great friends. Uh, and thanks to my little chessman that I met before we left, I was able to visit many places, meet a lot of nice people, and make many wonderful memories. Sensei, this is from us. And here we go, guys. We get ourselves the HM05 Waterfall. That will be needed, and unfortunately for us, we can't be using it until we get the Snowbell City Gym badge, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Let us move on. Yeah, let's seriously move on right here, guys. Uh, and finally, we have reached our the end of our destination. As you guys can see, the Misty move, Misty Terrain can cut damage from Dragon-type moves in half, but it only protects Pokemon if they're touching the ground. Huh. Nice to know. Hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't know why, but I really remember losing. Okay. And, oh, yeah, they, they only remember the, lo the losing battles, and... My Bergmite was given to me by my grandma when I was born. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pokemon, you know, growing up together and all that crud. So here it is, guys. We are in Snowbell City. The final destination to our last badge. Yeah, buddy. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be doing some stuff. We're going to try and finish up this whole walkthrough right here. Probably in the next 10 episodes or so. It might be 10. Maybe even 15. Who knows? But we will get it done. So thank you guys again for being patient as always. Thank you guys for being supportive. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we take on the Snowbell City Gym. See you guys.